So today we are going to be recreating famous bunny owners Instagram photos. Lennon the bunny, Bunny NYC, Benny the bunny. Let's see how I do. Hello buns, welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. So when it comes to a personal brand, I feel like Cinnabon and I have a pretty strong personal brand. It's like very bright, a little bit of an aesthetic, a little bit bougie, and very, very cute. And that had me think a little bit more about other bunny accounts and what their aesthetics are. Specifically, I'm thinking of accounts like Lennon the Bunny, Bunny NYC, Benny the Bunny, and just these big, really famous bunny accounts that have just really popularized rabbits in the community. And from there, I was like, it would be kind of fun to replicate them. So a few months ago, I did a video that was DMing like famous rabbit owners to shop for us and y'all loved that video. So today we are going to be recreating famous bunny owners Instagram photos and we are going to choose four pictures and do our best at recreating them and really picking up on their personal brands. So today we are going to be recreating Linen the Bunny, Benny the Bunny, Bunny NYC, and then I had to throw like a real big time celebrity in there. So I tossed in Shakira because she has an adorable bunny too. So these are the four photos that we're recreating and let's see how I do. So the first photo we're recreating is from the queen herself of bunny YouTube, which is Lennon the bunny. Lorelai and Lennon, their whole thing is just advocating for bunny rights and Lorelai is gorgeous. And this photo of them I feel like speaks to that so much. She just looks so beautiful. Lennon is just right on her chest. She's just casually laying there on the sofa and I can tell you that this is not a pose I can pull off. <laughs> but I'm going to at least have to try. Okay so the first photo that I want to do is the Lennon the bunny photo and the outfit I'm wearing right now does not match um, the outfit that she is wearing. So I need to get changed into what I'm gonna wear for that. So let's do that. So for this one, she has this like tan shirt on and she's laying on a white sofa and she has these green and red pillows. And I actually have um, green and red pillows. They're much more festive than hers, but I feel like the colors are there. So hopefully this one's easy. We'll see, I'm really bad at doing like a straight face like soft smile. I usually look pretty angry, so we'll see what happens. Honestly, the hardest part about this photo was just like getting Cinnabon to calmly sit on my chest while I like laid there and smized at the camera. And I just like, I can't smize. I just always look like I'm constipated. <laughs> so I brought like a treat up to my chest to get Cinnabon there. But the problem was I would put the treat on and then she would grab it and be like, oh my God, I have something good and then take it and run away. So I had to like, figure that out. But as far as the execution of the final photo goes, I think I did a pretty good job. My biggest critique here is that my hands are like on my pants when she just has hers like resting on her stomach so they're a little higher up. But other than that, I feel like me and Cinnabon are really, really nailing it. Like the fact that Cinnabon is even like looking at the camera kind of the same way that Lennon is, is really nice. Lennon's a little closer to Lorelai's face as well, but I am telling you, recreating a photo with an animal is so, hard so this is the best I could do so for this one I mean I I'm pretty proud of this I think I'm gonna give myself a 9 out of 10 just because my hands are a little too low if I had the hands in the right spot I feel like it'd be a perfect 10 but I'm pretty proud of this one Next up is Bunny NYC and we love them. They are just the Instagram masters. Miffy is known for just being this travel bun. Miffy has gone, I swear, more places than I have and they always just get the most incredible, amazing photos. So the photo I originally wanted to recreate was this beautiful photo of them wearing like the matching blazer and dress set and they actually sell these matching bunny and human clothes outfits. So I have that blazer and that dress. But the problem was I could not find a carousel anywhere around me that was like outdoors and easily accessible. I literally was all over Google and I would have had to drive like over an hour away and I'm like, I don't think I want to do that. But they have an outfit that's very similar that's the white version of the blazer and it's her out to brunch with Miffy, Miffy wearing the matching outfit and I was like, I can, I can go to a restaurant. So I didn't go to a brunch spot but we did go to one of our favorite restaurants in Charlotte which has an outdoor area. It was nice and heated for us. There weren't too many people around so it wasn't super hectic for Cinnabon and this is the photo that we got. It's okay. It's not the best. I feel like the angle of the photo is slightly off. Like our angle is definitely lower than Bunny NYC's angle. But I think as far as like outfit and execution, it's pretty good. So I feel like I would give this one 
like a six out of 10. Maybe, you know what? I'm gonna be nice and give myself a seven out of 10 because I have the exact same outfit. This next photo I wanted to create from Benny the Bunny's account was them out at a park, just like on a brown blanket. I will say in this photo, there is a teal ukulele and I do not own a teal ukulele. So there will be no ukulele in my photograph. And as far as pants go, I, I don't own khakis, I'm sorry. So we're just wearing my leggings. Also in this photo, Benny does not have a harness on and I'm just like too anxious about taking Cinnabon out in a public space without her harness on. So she's gonna have her harness on in this photo. Okay, so we are at our next location where we're doing Benny the Bunny and I, I do not own a blue shirt, but Bryant does. So it's very wrinkly because it was balled up in a hamper and I had to tie it. But I think that it's like perfect, honestly. So they're out somewhere in LA. So there's palm trees, it's very bright and sunny and it is November here. So the grass is not as green. We don't have palm trees, but there was like a business park near me that has like that kind of same color tone as the fountain in the background. So we went to an area where there's a nice green patch. I set us up on my little barefoot dreams blanket, which I really need to wash that. I shouldn't have brought a barefoot dreams blanket out, but dedication, it was my only brownish blanket. <laughs> and then we snapped this. This was definitely the easiest photo, I think. This one feels like a pretty staged photo. So I feel like staged pictures are just much easier to recreate than like candid natural ones. I think I'm gonna give myself on this one, maybe another seven out of 10, no. I'll give myself a six out of 10 on this one because the outfit, I really just have the shirt. Um, I'm missing some key elements in the background is different, but I feel like I did a good job for what I had to work with. Last up is our queen, Shakira. I am obsessed with Shakira, will forever love Shakira. And I love that Shakira is a bunny mom now. That is just so amazing. So I just wanted to recreate the photo of Shakira with her little bunny, the announcement photo for when she got her. So we are on to our last picture and it is the one of Shakira. Sorry, Brian's making some noise behind us. It's the one of Shakira. And so she's wearing just like a dark gray t-shirt. So I'm wearing one of Brian's t-shirts. It's like a Mississippi State shirt. No, he did not go to Mississippi State. She's like looking down. The bunny is on her shoulder, like blocking her mouth and there's some windows behind her. So let's do that. So I thought this one would be the easiest by far. It's just like the bunny on the shoulder looking over. It's super tight. It looks like it was just captured really quickly. She even has no makeup on, but honestly, because my makeup was done today, I was not taking it off for this photo. So my apologies. But this one was the hardest one to get. Oh my God, it was so hard. I don't know what angle she was at with her body where the bunny's face was able to block her mouth. But I felt like I just couldn't get my face to that level. Like I had to like shrivel up into this ball and then I had lipstick on so the lipstick was sticking to Cinnabon's fur. I don't know if you can see this, but my lips are covered in Cinnabon fur after shoving my mouth in her fur. Even the photo I got, like I just couldn't get my head cocked to that angle. Cause when I cock my head, my lips lift up. So she was like this. I don't know, but I feel like overall, it looks pretty good, I think. I'm gonna give myself a seven out of 10 for this one because overall, even though my head is not cocked the same way and I have makeup on, I feel like I look pretty similar here, especially for all the problem solving I had to do to figure out this very strange angle at which she has positioned herself with her rabbit. <laughs> And that buns, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you would like to see a part two to this video, if there's other bun parents that you would like me to recreate. It was actually really, really fun to do. And it's just like fun getting to play make believe and play pretend for a day. And make sure that you are subscribed to this channel if you're not, because starting Wednesday, that is right, Wednesday, Jingle Bun Days is kicking off and I promise you, you do not wanna miss out. We have so much fun holiday content coming, lots of announcements. You definitely wanna be subscribed so you don't miss any of it. And you know what? I'm just gonna say that for now and I'll let you find out all of the fun surprises we have this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you for the next video, which is a Jingle Bun video. Thanks for watching y'all. Bye buns.